This is my all glass and mirrored Liberace Jonathan Livingston Siegel piano. This is my childhood guitar. This was the microphone that accompanied me on all the club dates. Welcome everyone. This is Rock and Tell. I'm Katie Darrell and joining me today is Debbie Gibson. You know, Rock and Tell is like show and tell, but with way cooler items than we had when we were in kindergarten. You know, I always love show and tell. This is right up my alley. <laughs> well, I would be like, what do you have on hand that you can show off to us? Okay, so I have this carousel horse <laughs> that was in my Girls' Night Out video and Caesars Entertainment gifted it to me for my 50th birthday. Wow. That yeah, that's not that's not a tiny little gift. It's hard to wrap that, oh, right? Oh, it's so amazing. Look at all the bedazzling on it. Yeah, I love it so much. And they snuck it in. My manager and uh a friend of mine and the Caesars uh entertainment folks snuck it in while I was out at brunch. Oh, I that's so gorgeous. To find it in my piano room. I hope you like this horse because it's staying here. I know. I, I dropped a few hints. I'm not going to lie. Good. Hey, yeah, I like that. I like that. All right. What else can you show us? So this is my childhood guitar, which probably hasn't been tuned since childhood. Like that's about how well I play. I am the worst guitarist ever, as musical as I am. But what I wanted to show you is then I bought myself this one for uh, my birthday this year, my gift to myself with, a, with in Body Remembers Green, because I plan to learn. I've even started changing the length of my nails in anticipation. Wow, that's a commitment right there. The Manny is yeah, involved. Yeah, because I realized you cannot play guitar with, like I'm, I usually have like pointy nails out to and I'm like, okay, I already suck, that's not gonna help. Right, right. That's good for like the harp. <laughs> These are some of my original electric youth tools. So this was the jacket from the cover. Okay. And this is from the tour. This used to light up. It still has the battery pack in the sleeve. So I really want to get it rewired. But this I wore all my electric youth tour. And this on the other cover. Did you ever have mishaps when you were wearing it where the batteries died while you were wearing it? And you're like, oh, I need a battery change. Would that no. happen all the time? It didn't happen. Oh. I think it just changed it like a regular battery. Like it was no big, no biggie. I just imagine it being like the 80s and batteries sucked back then. You put it in oh, and like 10 God, minutes later, so it would just funny. die. <laughs> no, not so much. And it was like, yeah, I, I thought that was so rad. I have to use an 80s word. Like so rad to have a light up jacket. Of course, right? absolutely. What else you got there? Okay. This is my original wig from Les Miserables. Mm. How it looks on. When I played Eponine on my own, pretending he's beside me. And this was in London, right? No, oh, this was on Broadway. Oh, this was Broadway. Okay. Oh, wow. Broadway. It's got the little like ponytail, the same rubber band. I mean, it's pretty beat up. Like Eponine's meant to look like a hot mess anyway, but this is like, I mean, this is 30 years old, this wig. Sure, sure. So that's, that's Eponine. And in fact, follow me, I'll show you. Um, here I am wearing it in the show. Oh, this is perfect. Look at that. You've yeah, had so many so opportunities to play such wonderful characters on stage from Les Mis to Grease, uh, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, yeah. is, is there a character that you've had your eye on that you thought, I want to dig my teeth into that? You know, so they'd have to kind of maybe change it a little bit because here, come over to the piano. Because <laughs> it's um, Hamilton <laughs> and I want to be Hamilton. I already wanted to do, oh, oh, they're playing the song. Oh, yeah, they're playing the song. And when they're playing the song, everybody fell. Anyway, I always wanted to do their play in our song, which is a Neil Simon musical. It's amazing. And it's kind of like the Burt Backrack, Carol Bayer Sager mm -hmm. story. Um, so it's really like a two person musical. Um, but yeah, that was like the worst rendition of it. I think they were like, oh, they're playing a song. That's what it is. Anyway, I used to play that 
for hours as a kid wanting to do that musical. And I've never played Roxy in Chicago. I've played Velma. Although I gotta say, like, I'm athletic, but the days of like cartwheeling and high heels for me, uh, that's for the birds. My body would like that right now, but it's still, it could be fun. Well, we're playing Rock and Tell with Debbie Gibson, and we, we have to talk about the piano you're standing in front of. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. And then I have yeah. some so cool, too. This is my all glass and mirrored Liberace Jonathan Livingston Siegel piano. See, he has his, his character is etched in the glass in three places, and there are seagulls etched in the glass, and I've had it for 30 years. Wow. I love it, love it, love it so much. It's my prized possession. And this goes back even longer. So this, you know, we spoke about me playing clubs mm -hmm. uh, at 16. This was the microphone that accompanied me on all the club dates. I mean, it's like so simple, like this, whoop, the little on and off switch. It's not going to go on right now, obviously, without the receiver. And there's like a, there's like a high, medium, low, like some kind of little EQ there. And it literally still has lipstick shades of lipstick on it of course that gets jammed in there yeah because i'm just like right on the microphone because i'm all and you know that like no in my dreams i'm like a push the air into the microphone singer so yeah there you go this i mean we've covered some ground me in this microphone this was like one of my favorite things that i couldn't wait to show because it's not really had a moment till now well, I'm glad we gave it its moment in the spotlight here on Rock and Tell. Thank you, Debbie, so much. Thank you. Hey there, thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is or who your favorite bands are and what artists you're into, or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you. That's the point, all right? Keep it coming.